Audio on. Window on. Stupid banner that says I'm about to stream off. Woo. Okay, hello and welcome back to the stream. Um, we're basically going to continue what we were doing last time, if I can remember what that was. No, we were actually uh, pretty, pretty deep into uh, finding the uh, positions, what constellation stars were in, uh, based on their 1875 right ascension and declination. But the other thing we wanted to add, well, actually, we should probably we should probably finish doing this because this will actually help someone, unfortunately, uh, and we want to get that over with as soon as possible. Uh, but then we also want to look into proper motion, which is the, st the stars have moved since 1875. So what we want to do here is, um, I think this has been pushed to Git, so I'm going to go ahead and really, really, really trim this down a lot. Um, because a lot of this code is garbage, it's all garbage, but some of it is garbage that doesn't do anything, where the rest of it is garbage that I have written. So it does do something. Um, so it's all garbage, but, you know, some of it is different garbage. Okay, and this is actually no longer true. Okay. So we read the file. This could actually be a subroutine, but I think I've said that before. Um, so we look at the different fields in the, um, right, and this is distance, okay, okay. And I think that the, um, what we were concerned with is, so we actually do need to do this a little bit here. Um, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and declare another variable called, I almost called it constellation, but you can't do that because, uh, const, because const is actually a reserved word. So we'll call it cons. Um, I could have sworn I did this already, didn't I? Oh, aster, I decided to call it aster. Okay, uh, but I think that might have been for... No, no, that's fine. Okay, that's good. All right. Um, so I think for this, we could actually just do... Um, just get the constellation name directly from... Gotta be a little bit careful here. Um... think that is correct. Okay, so this basically gets the constellation name based on the right ascension and declination. Um, and this is a computed value. Uh, yeah, this is a computed value. Um, what we do need here is, let's see. Um, okay, and 29. Okay, shit. I guess we'll call this aster2, and this will be aster1. So the one they give us in the file is going to be aster1. The one we compute will be aster2. So I think in order to do this correctly, I need to do... Um, and this is just a string copy. So I can't quite do what I wanted. String copy. Uh, I just had it, didn't I? There it is. String copy into... Uh, Aster 1, S29, and we also, of course, need to declare Aster 1 as something that's only going to be three characters long, doesn't really matter, and then, I, can I do this? I mean, hmm, all right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, the old RA and RDC, I don't really need them to calculate the constellation because the program that does it already does that. Okay, so now... Jesus, what the hell? Okay, I've obviously done something wrong here. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, um, a lot of this stuff is crap, but we want to we leave it around. We need to compare to see if Aster 1 and Aster 2 are equivalent. If they're not, we want to print this, uh, this hideousness here. Uh, and because it, there are different cases, although I could probably fix that pretty easily, uh, we need to use stir, I think it's stir in comp. Um, uh, let's see. 
Uh, okay. So not quite what I wanted. Stircomp, there, there's a version of Stircomp that is not case sensitive. Um, and again, it's not even sure I want to use it, but... Um, um, okay. Really, really need to learn how to do stuff. Okay, stand by while I try to figure out what the hell I'm doing with my life. But, uh, unlikely that I will. Okay. So why can't I do... Oh. Okay, let's put this over here. Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's go do a man string. There is one that does uh, stir case comp. And that is the one I want. Case insensitive comparison. And it's only three letters, but it doesn't really matter. If stir case comp. Um, and I'm pretty sure this returns zero on success. So if it returns anything other than zero, uh, means we have a, a discrepancy. And so we can do this, and if this works, it's really just all in the cleanup after this. Okay. So let's do this. Wait, why do I have two emails? Oh, this. Hey, I have two Emacs running. Not cool. Dun dun dun. This Emacs needs to go away. That might have explained part of my confusion, although not most of it, of course. Um, all right. How big is this freaking X term? Okay. I must now calm down. All right. Let's see if this even doesn't make. Um, yeah, I was kind of wondering if I'd get away with that. Um, so I think what we need to do here is Astro 240. Um, and then I'm pretty sure I've got to do a store copy here. Store copy Astro 2, whatever this thing returns. And that should fix that. Unfortunately, C is a very painful language. Aster, yep, that's not what we wanted. We want, um... Okay, so ID, then we want Aster 1, Aster 2, and then the rest of this stuff is just going to be right ascension declination. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, but, yeah, so right now we're going to... Okay. Oh, that actually made. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, something is quite wrong. Something is not right. And that's why I sing this song. All right, for some reason we're not getting a, um, a constellation value out of some of these lines. Um which is bad. Okay. We are getting the 3865, which is really nice. We are getting the one where... Um, we are getting the situation where... Um, the, the where they disagree. But unfortunately, we seem to be getting blank values for some of these constellations, and that could be because of something stupid. Uh, well, the sun definitely doesn't have a constellation. That's not a. That's not an issue. Um, and none of these fields should have extra commas in them. So, all right. Well, let's do that one more time and see which one we. Uh, one ninety one. Okay, so let's look at one ninety one. That should be the uh, the first time we have. Wow. All right. Here we go. Uh huh. This looks like there is no constellation value here. So, okay, so that's something we actually need to probably... Um, I'm going to make a note of this here. Not all stars have const values in HYG data. 
Um, that could be actually relevant. So now we need to, of course, get rid of this case where... Um, now we could just get rid of it up here. Well, actually we can't because we don't copy it until here. I guess we could go down here. Um, hmm. Skip case where aster1 from file is empty. If stir comp aster1 the empty string, uh, that means if they are Um, store comp returns zero on success, so this I'm pretty sure should be a not. So like that. Okay, if this works, I will GitHub it and, and just stop programming for the rest of my life. Okay, those are probably okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Damn! 29 lines, and I happen to know the first line is incorrect. Um, because that's just the sun or whatever, that doesn't count. Um, and we can get rid of it pretty quickly in just a minute. Um, okay, so we are going to... Let's see how close we can get to copying this guy's format. Um... So he's using lowercase, and he says, expected, blah, found, blah. And it is Pomodoro time, but it's the first one, so we're going to skip it. All right, so let's see. I think I think we got exactly what he got, maybe. That's interesting. We got one more line, uh, but very, very close. So we can probably lowercase this, or camel case it. Um, and he's doing a little bit of formatting here. So maybe we're not going to quite do what he does. Um, I think he's doing... Um, I mean, we, we might be able to nail his scenario right down to it. Okay. 7751. He has... Right ascension of 1.58. Yep. And 52.227. Yep. We're just nailing this guy. Um... <sighs> <laughs> whoa, 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 he got more failures? Oh. Okay. Sign up for free. I already have an account. Okay. Um, so really the only thing I need to do is change this, um, the case of this. And that you can actually do by subtracting, hang on, subtracting a number basically, uh, or adding a number. I'm pretty sure the lowercase number... Oh, I'm wrong. The lowercase numbers are higher. Um, so pretty much by just adding 32. Um, never ever do this. Um, Aster 1 is one that's... Kind of okay. Lowercase, last two of Aster 2. Again, this is something you really, really never want to do. In fact, you probably shouldn't even be looking at it. This is a very ugly wave. It just happens to work in this one case. Um, all right, keep forgetting there's going to be very few outputs now, so we don't even need to pipe it to less. 
came. Okay, these are going to be the pre proper motion, excuse me, figures. And now let's see if we can replicate his printf exactly. Okay. I'll just copy one of his lines over here. I, uh, the formatting might be the thing that kills me. Okay. Oh, is he formatting that too? No. Where did I get the word star from? Hang on. Something's weird here. 72017. Maybe the word star was already there somehow. Anyway. So it's percent D space expected S found percent S at B1875 RA equals floating point number deck equals floating point number New line, let's fill it in. It's going to be the ID. I'm pretty sure we actually caught the ID, right? Yeah, we did. Um, so expected, expected. That's the one we compute. Um, right, and found Astro 1. I think that's how he's doing it. Um, and then RA. So if this is correct, we should be very, very close to what he has. Um, yeah, we do. Um, all right, unless he flipped this. Oh no, this is good. This is good shit. Um. The only thing that worries me is this might be the very last line and something might have gone wrong. Um, but let's see. Yeah, this, is, this is looking pretty tight here. Um, so let me make sure that this is... Um, I guess there should be just a Z cat here. If that's how many lines there are in it or very close to it, then I'm going to be worried. No, we're fine. Okay. All right, so why don't we, um, I know, I'm going to create a directory of the day. Let's go ahead and put the uh, output of this into ermine.txt. Ermine. Ermine. What? Oh, right, because it does take a while to run, even though it's um, not giving a lot of output. And then we're going to say 2020-0504, air dude. I, don't, I probably should get his name, but, you know, whatever. He can remain nameless as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Okay, once again, we probably need smaller windows. Is something that Bill Gates has never said. Help, I've lost where I am. Okay, so that's his. And I did a control C, control yank. And now, unfortunately, there's going to be a difference because uh, we have slightly different calculations. Um. Yeah, so there's that. Um, oh, he flipped his, didn't he? Oh, and he actually did put the word star. Did I miss the word star in his? Oh, yes, I did. Okay. Uh, so that's where I was thinking of the word star was in there somewhere. So let's do that. 
Uh, we can also just sort of say don't, you know, ignore bl ignore white space. So that's not going to be the issue. Um, and then I said I guess we're going to skip if um, yeah, if ID equals zero, we should probably skip it. So. So if mm, I could just say not ID, but I'm not going to. Okay, let's do that. Let's do a rebuild. Make sure it goes through. Yeah, I need to get rid of that. But but actually, I do. I need that later, so I can't quite get rid of it. Hermione, my errors. What I think are the errors. Okay. And then, and then let's air mine. No. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, it looks like he flipped his. All right, so let me go ahead and do that. And that is just a simple aster one to aster two. Oops. And which one you're expecting, which one you're not expecting, um, depends on which which you consider to be canonical. So it's not it's not a mistake. Dun, 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 dun. Never mind. It has changed on disk. Yes, I do want to reread it. Okay, so now... Pretty... Pretty bad. Alright, so why are my RA... Oh, because my RA and declination are from 2020. I have not... Um, hang on, that shouldn't be true. Um... I mean that's that's the problem. Let me let me fix it here real quick. I, I could have sworn I computed the right thing here. Um, I did I just not bother to put it in? Let's see. Old RA old deck. Yeah, that's what I even had in the other one. All right, ninety third billionth times a charm. Dun, 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 that was a little bit of the Dick Van Dyke theme there. Alrighty. Compare. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. So I think the main issues we're going to have is... Which one's mine? Oh, this one's mine. Um, I might have a couple of entries he didn't. Although, actually... We're very, very close. Okay. So now I could diff these, but I get the feeling that um, even ignoring errors, it's going to be... And if I do ignoring errors... Ign uh, yeah, hang on. So there's a visual differ differ difference program I could use here, um, which is going to show me that they're basically identical. Unfortunately, I don't remember. What, is it VDIF? It's not our diff. Stand by, I'm going to figure out which which diff program I want to use here. It may have some stupid name. Uh, probably does have some stupid name. Um, so we're looking for a graphical version of diff. And I know I have it, and I know I've used it. Um, I just don't remember its name, so that kind of sucks. Meld. Okay. I wish I could type. All right. Um. So, I think this means they're practically identical. Yeah. Right. 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 Um. Except I have lines that he doesn't have.
think I'm gonna make this a, need to make this a little bit thinner, even though it works really well when it's wide as possible. I think I have uh, three extra lines. Okay. Interesting. So these would be ones that are maybe very, very close to the min. Okay. So I'm getting tired of the amount of work I'm doing here. Uh, wait a minute. Does his have an extra space in there? No, he just, that's just the way he's formatting. Uh, there should be a way to ignore spaces. So this is pretty darn close. Kind of bugs me he didn't find the other two. <sighs> okay. So now I'm going to do something that is very clever. I'm going to try to like freeze at this version here. Um, because the moment I change this, I'm going to F something up. So let's see if I can get, um, let's see if I can do something not tremendously stupid. Um, so this is the program that prints out the data that Jack built. No, this is the program that prints out the data that I'm going to um, post to GitHub. All right, I'm going to go and push this to Git. Okay. And now, I know there's a way to link to a specific, um, what the hell is that guy doing there? Uh, GitHub link to specific version, or specific code. really true? All you need to do is that? Alright. So let's go ahead and bc gitify this program. Okay. And let's go there. And then... Copy path, I'm pretty sure it's just going to copy the current path. So what does Y do? Well, Y is not doing anything. Um, copy path. I'm almost sure that's not going to be the right thing. Yeah. Copy. Is this? Um. All right, so hang on. That's I don't know where I wanted to go with it, but okay. So let's see if this is actually has a... Yes, it does. So now I can go to... Somewhere. Uh, what was it? BC Constell Start... Yeah, there it is. All right. And this... Of course, if I wrote it here, it would change the version, so I'm not going to. Read me. Come on, Constell. Okay. Now I'm happy. Okay, let's go ahead and give my input in here. And this will need to be formatted. I wrote and ran this sucker to generate the above notes. Um... I have three... Oh, hang on. You know what? I think he actually said in his note that he had... Well, that can't be right. right? He didn't actually exclude the ones I put in. Um, 
I think he listed all of them, right? He listed seven. Yeah, good. I was going to say he didn't, he didn't eliminate the ones I put in. Um, I have three more stars than your version. And now I'm going to do a... kind of wish I'd left that meld going, huh? Okay. Um... 80302. And the last one. Um, which can't be that. It's this. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, so he did it a little bit differently. He actually kept the capital letter in uh, Pisces Australianus, but that's not going to be a huge deal. Uh, for the most part, my numbers agree with yours to several decimal points, but do differ in the last. Let's see how let's see how bad that is in the last two or three. Differ in the last two or three decimal points. I think we're done. Okay, Pomodoro time, back in two and two. And we are almost back. And we're back. Before I forget, not all stars in HYG data not CSV. After I guess I should say the correct name. Winded man. And I think the GZ is his version, because I wouldn't do that have constellation names, have associated constellations. Okay, and what was the other big thing I was going to say? You suck. No. Um, oh yeah, okay. The numbers above are without proper motion. Okay, now that I can do all this exciting stuff where I can quote specific revisions, let's see if we can do a version that is with proper motion. Yay. Um, da -da 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 -da. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. So now what we need to do is compute the, um, the x values back in the day. Before we compute the old right ascension and declination. Oh, hang on, shit. Um, okay. So we need to do two-step correction. One is for proper motion, and then one is for um, 
Tingmajubi uh, procession. Now, precision, procession. They're different. Um, so, okay, proper motion. So we need to figure out what the proper motion, how he's doing proper motion. Adjust for proper motion, and we will call these things, uh, again, old X, old Y, and old Z, because <laughs> uh, they're not really new, because they're, they're older. All right, so let's see how he does the, um, let's see what, what units the, um, come on, do I have, I don't have anything useful up here. Uh, let's see, HYG read me. Dun, 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 dun. Obviously the units are going to be different here. Let's see. Uh, parsecs per year. Those numbers will be very, very small. But all right. Um, in fact, they're going to be so small, I'd like to see them. Vy percent F, that. Um, okay. And this is probably going to piss somebody off, but I'm going to just, because I don't want to see the rest of this right now, I'm just going to do a continue there. Make pipe to less. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Wait. How is this... There we are. Uh, this time I just want to see it. Ooh. These numbers are really, really tiny. Dangerously tiny, in fact. Okay, it's been 125 years since 1975, so it's got to be negative 125, because this is in the forward direction. Well, if this works everything out, I'm going to be really pissed off. Okay. So that's going to be x minus 125 times vx, because that's 125 years ago. And same thing for these. Um, well, except it would be nice if I did it with the right units. Z, Y, V, 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 Z. Um, boy, if this all works out, I'm going to be really pissed off. Uh, if he just did the things in the wrong direction. Okay, so now we want right ascension and declination. Um, from O, X, O, Y, O, Z. The old court From... M Proper motion coordinates. That sounds weird. Okay. And I think I have to have a library that does that. So that part should not be two. It's going to be XYZ to spherical. Whoa. Wrong library. <laughs> XYZ to no. Oh, actually, I think there is a function in there that does this. It's rec. Uh, Rexfa, I think, is the. Yeah. Okay, so Rexfa C, let's see, yeah, that's a terrible, okay, so they send the rectangle, okay, this is actually should be, um, we can just do this as a single array of old. And da, 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 da. we send in old, and we want to get back. How is this not a azimuth altitude? There must be one that I did that returns azimuth altitude is decreasing. Umbral data perp vector. Uh, I guess not. Well, I guess because they do it, I, I don't have to. Um, and then in order to, we're going to need to put them into... That's a terrible one. Hang on. Okay, and the... Shit. 
Because this is actually, I think, the co-latitude that they give us because they hate us. All right, so we'll call this um, double ORA, ODEC, and the O doesn't really matter, the O distance, but we'll, we'll put it there. We have to, actually. So we want this to be O dist, ORA, and O deck, and then we need to say O deck. See, the longitude shouldn't have to change. That should be okay. Right ascension. Come on, nowhere near do I say right ascension. And then O deck is half pi C minus O deck. But then we also need to convert them into. Um, no, no, this is good because they're in radians. So now we can actually get the. Um, we can actually do this. And we might as well call this Aster 3 while we're at it. And now we can, because these are in radians, hopefully correctly, we can now do this. Constellation name, and it's going to be ORA. Oh, and this one we don't even need to do a correction because it's already in the right form. ODEC. Okay. Uh, and I guess we've already done this, so we don't... Oh, hang on, that those might be different. Crap. So now we need a third one, which is... Um, Aster 3. Uh, actually... Um, PM, proper motion, Aster 3. i got to have a bad feeling about this one, um, but let's see. Okay. Um... Clearly, clearly not what we wanted. Um, so how the hell did I get that? Store copy. Did I ever copy anything to Astro 3? <whistles> nope, that's Astro 2. Let's try that again. Okay. Okay, that's uh, something I don't need to be printing out anymore, but but good. So we're probably going to need to do this a little bit better because the variables are getting ugly and stuff. And we really kind of want to do all three at once. Uh, so let's see what this does. I don't need to less it, do I, because there's not that many results. Uh, something tells me we're not getting the right... The proper motion constellations are probably not correct. Um, and they're almost definitely not correct... Well, I mean, if, the, if this thinks it's an octant, then it's way, way off. Okay. So... Um... So really, for each of these stars, we have a J2000 position, a B1875 position, and then a B1875 corrected for proper motion position. Uh, let me see if I can clearly fix the error with the um, with getting the O. Oh, let's see, the RA is going to be let's see, O dist, RA, O deck. I mean, the obvious thing is this one. This is not correct. It's giving us the right results. Um, we don't have to be doing that, so let's... Mm, not looking too good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, maybe I do need to do pi minus 2 over... Um, oh, shit. I do have to correct these, don't I, to get um, the right constellation number. That I might be able to do in the... Um, Uh, in the um, in the program itself, in the uh, function itself. So now we are getting closer to being able to say something like we want three positions. The so there's X Y Z. Um, then there's X Y Z adjusted for proper motion. Um, Hmm. And then there's the right... We don't, don't actually need the right ascension and declination. We just need the constellation after being adjusted for proper motion. Um, so clearly the bad thing here is going to be... Um, I don't know what I'm doing in terms of rec... Um, oh, I guess I said I was going to try doing this. But now we're just kind of guessing, which is not really a good thing to be doing, but let's see what that does. Okay, so I think I did need the other pi minus 2 also, um, but we need to fix this. Um, a lot. Okay. Nah, we're still not doing this. Okay. Okay. Alrighty, so now what we need to do here... Um... So we read the line, we get the fields... Now the question is, could I actually... turn this into a subroutine? Um, and then return the array that, that is created thusly. Probably. Okay, so these are the... Um, So I really want to make x, y, and z a, a, a vector, which is to say a three-dimensional array. Um, hmm. So I guess what I want to see here um, is what happens to the... Wait. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's see what we're getting for ORA and ODEC. I get the feeling there's just something really weird going on here. Um, rectangular is spherical, old. And these should be pretty much the same as... Alright, so let's do that. By the way, ORA, I think, is the Spanish word for gold. So, not that anyone cares, I'm just kind of mentioning it. Ya -da -da. This time we do need a less. Okay. Uh, for one thing, it looks like we're getting these things flipped because I am pretty sure it's the RAs that are going up slowly, so that's bad already. Um. Oh, it is. Sorry, it is ODEC and ORA. That that could explain it a lot right there. Um, versus percent F. So it's going to be ODEC versus DEC, ORA versus RA, which is actually not going to be that great because um, one of them is in radians. But hey. Um... 
So the ORAs look like they're going to be Oh, right, because that's the, the, okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, oh, deck, this, I, what? This, I think, is going to be pi 90 minus. Uh, yeah. So that is correct for O deck. I did need to do that uh, little thing there. And now, if this works, well, I'll GitHub it, but I probably won't do anything more with it. Uh, we need to do a little bit more here to get this working. Okay. Pisces, Erendinus, Andromeda, Reticulum. This is looking... Oh. Okay. Um... So now we have three different sources, basically. One is the precessed but not proper motioned. Um, the other is precessed and proper motioned. And the other is um, the one from HYG data catalog. So that's interesting. Okay. So I think at this point uh, we can clean this up a little bit. Pomodoro time, back in two and two. Okay, we are almost back. And we're still almost back. I need to check something real quick. All right, looks good. Whatever it is I was checking. Um, and now we, we're going to do a little bit of fudging here. Um, I am hoping to do a proper motion version later. I'm getting sick to death of this and I just don't want to do any more. So now I probably need to sign in. Good, it remembers everything. Um, he hasn't closed, oh good, it's still open. I would not want to reopen this just for this. Escape W, Control V, but I'm pretty sure I need, I don't know, does it give you a, uh, it does not, so I need to be careful that I format this code correctly. And is that, I don't think it's that, I think it's, Insert code. Now, damn it, I want to see a preview. So that looks pretty much like his. Not exactly. Um. Oh, 
Okay. So now if we wanted to clean this up, I'm not saying we're going to, but if we wanted to, uh, first of all, we'd make um, both the velocity and the XYZ positions vectors because they're much easier to deal with that way. Uh, we would be clear which of the three coordinate systems we're using, uh, J2000B1875 or J2000 with proper motion. And then technically we would want to do B1875 with proper motion. Um, and then we would, you know, we don't use, the program is correct in saying I don't use a lot of this data. Um, so then we would say, da, 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 and then of course the constellation uh, given by, well, I guess we would need the constellation given by, we'd need the two constellations. One is uh, given the, un the unproper motion coordinates, the other is given the proper motion coordinates, and the third, of course, is the, is the constellation name we get from the HYG data to begin with. And if there's a discrepancy in any two of those, um, we should probably print that out just, just to make it clear uh, what's, what's going on. Um, so we could do that in some sort of format like um, star number, um, const, uh, HYG const, um, const, and then something like PM const, meaning constellation adjusted for proper motion. Same thing for the right ascensions and declinations, except we probably don't need to have a field for, um, well, I guess we could have a field for HYGRA and stuff like that too. Although obviously we'd be computing them from the XYZ, so we don't really expect there to be much of a difference there. Um, Okay, so that is how, if we wanted to, we would go about um, doing more on this. Uh, but we're pretty tired. Not in the sense of sleepy tired, in the sense of I'm bored to death of it now. Okay, so I think I've, I think I've beaten this to death pretty much. Um, and I've learned about being very careful with w which version of programs I release. And now, oh yes, we were going to get back to the Denmark Orange Djibouti problem. And I think I have written something that does parse, even though I couldn't find it. Um, it's always called latest all for some reason. Um, so I don't think it's going to be in this directory, but I think it'll be in a subdirectory. Or in a sub subdirectory. Or we can do this. Which is not helpful. I'm pretty sure it is called latest all. And that would have been nice if I piped that to less. Okay. Give me one second here to find the um I'm pretty sure, yeah, there we are. And give me one second here to figure out which one. Holy fucking moly. This thing's gotten a lot bigger. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, okay, no. Um, wow. All right. I mean, I can link this here. It's not a problem, but uh, the jeez, the version I got in September of 2017 is an order of magnitude larger. Um. All right. Let me go ahead and link it. Um. Did I, did I even write a program to deal with this? No. Oh shit. I did actually do something here, but unfortunately, uh, okay, I have no idea what the, how the hell I did it. So let me really quick, I know you can't see what I'm doing, I'm on a different machine, give me a little bit of time here. Wow. All right. 
All right, let's take a look at what we have in terms of our data here. Uh, it is in JSON format. Um, the very first item in the file is, is Scotland, the, the nation of Scotland. Uh, Semi-nation, it's actually part of the United Kingdom. And this is probably why I didn't want to deal with this. This is really ugly. Okay. All right. So I think last time we got as far as I think we were trying to do a query that I can't find anymore. Okay. Yeah, we did this. And I, th I think it timed out as we would almost definitely expect it to do. So now the question is, can we get that same data from the dump? And we're using an older dump right now because we don't have the latest one. It's still downloading. It's freaking huge. It's 80 gigabytes compressed. But the only thing that bugs me about all this is I'm pretty sure I've done this before, so I don't want to do it again. So this is going to be another case of where um, oh hello okay so I didn't put it in Wikidata I might have to move it there alrighty okay. Okay, so I, d I have done it. So let's... I think that's the only thing I have that has that. I'm going to go ahead and move it into the right directory. Oh, hello. There's more than one. What does this do? Okay, so this actually connect connects to Wikidata's data's API and request stuff. Kind of cool. And I hope to hell no one's using them because I'm about to move them both. Um, into Wikidata where they kind of belong. Awesome. Uh, let me go ahead and BC get this just to be safe. Okay. All right. So now that we've moved it all around to where it's supposed to be, kind of, um, Wikidata from dump. That's what we're trying to do here. Um, so this takes it from the standard input, which I'm totally okay with. Um, because then I can do bzcat latest all pipe to bc wikidata from dump. This might give me a file not found because I just moved it and it's all unhappy now. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, God damn it. Claims. Um, now, I think we can be a little bit nicer with this if we just look for a specific entity. Like, for example, P279 or P31. Oh, come on, it's got to be one of those. Wait. Scotland. These are the aliases, these are the claims. Um, come on, we need an instance of here. So we're looking for P279 or P31. Those One of those is a, let's see, P279, P31. There we go. Um... Okay. I 
It's an item. Somewhere it should say, okay, here we go. It is a Q775. Don't know what that is, but we can easily find out. I think that's country, basically. Okay, Scotland is not a province of the Netherlands. Pretty. Oh, hang on, I moved this too far to the right. 7275. I feel like uh, how to cook 440 humans. Um, so this is good stuff here. 7275. And that hopefully is country. State, an organized community living under a system of government. <laughs> I love it. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what other things... That, so... Um, see, what does this mean? Oh, this is the ID of the claim. Um, property... Okay, so... Claims... P31, and we're looking for hmm so I guess we're looking for cases where uh, the P31, the claims P31 of something is a Q value um Numeric ID, ID. So I guess this is kind of what we're looking for. Got to be careful. There can be more than one of them. Uh, in fact, I, I get the feeling there is going to be more than one of them here. Because um, it's also... you got to be kidding me. So it's a Q... Oh yeah, here it is. It's a Q... Whatever this thing is, which I think is going to be province of the United Kingdom. Because uh, that's what it is. But let's see... Uh, let's do this. Constituent part of the United Kingdom. Okay. So it looks like... <coughs> Excuse me. I did cover my sneeze, so you're not going to die from corona. Although I don't think it's supposed to be transferred that way. Alrighty, so P31 claims P31. And then we're looking for oh, your mama. P31. Data type, data value, value ID. So we're looking for things like this. Okay. Uh, and we also need to do that for P279, but we don't have one of those yet. We will get to that in just a sec. Um, okay. So let's do this. I'm um, sorry, Jason. You know what? I'm going to try to be nice and actually put this into. Um, well, let's just copy this then. There's there's something wrong here, um, and it is that one of these things is actually an array, and I think the claims is an array. Um, pretty sure that's the case. Oh no, claims P31 is an array. Okay. I can dig that. Now if you're thinking I have no idea what I'm doing, you are absolutely correct. Uh, okay, so what we need now is the, um, array of claims, which is going to be Jason claims... P31, I think. Then we also need 279, but that's coming up in just a minute. Um, and the stuff below here, by the way, is try to finding, trying to find stuff quickly uh, by looking at um, my jumping around and knowing that the items are in order. So if you wanted to find Q5000, you could do a sort of a very bizarre kind of binary search um, to find that. Okay. 
So now... I don't think this is going to work. But hey. Um, we'll do it for the first ten. Okay, let's see what this does now. Oh, cool. Uh, kind of. So this is an array. Oh, okay, that's fine. That That is correct. This is an array. And let's see what the zeroth element of it looks like. That's not helpful. Um... That can't even be an array. Oh, it's a pointer to an array. Okay, hang on. So this is actually... I think I meant to do this. The list that is pointed to by. Yes. And that is what I wanted. All right. So now we're in business. Um, let me go ahead and quote the... Um, I think I've already lost it. But um, Pomodoro time back in two and two. And we are almost back. And we are back. All right. So let me see if I can get a uh, what we had back in the uh, previous there. Uh, the thing that we wanted, which was one of these. So let's go ahead and make that our sample 
Okay, so this is the sort of thing we're looking for. So we have uh, an array of hashes, which is fine. And then in that, okay, so da da da. So. Okay, so now what I can do is go through this list. And so I is going, so we can do main snack. I don't know what that means, by the way. Data value value. Jesus Christ. ID. And if that works, we are in business. If it doesn't work, we are almost in business. Okay, let's see what this does. Yep, we're in business. Okay. Um, so what we need to do now is we need to get the... Um, yeah, kind of wish I'd made the older version of this. Because um, now we need to know the what what number we're actually on. Although I think it's cute. I think we can get that data pretty easily. Um, oh, actually, hang on. We didn't actually change anything, did we? So let's do that and let's see what happens. Um, so what we're looking for now is the actual number. of This, ha this happens to be... Uh, Q24. Uh, or Q22. My god, I don't even know what it is anymore. Q22. Okay, that's a claim. That's a claim. Uh, somewhere it's going to say that it's actually Q22, I think. Right, The very first thing it says is not that. Claims. This might be something really, really simple like ID or something. So claims and then no, 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 descriptions, labels, Jesus Christ. Um, site links. Now this actually might be useful if we could see that it has an English wiki, EN wiki here somewhere. Uh, that might be a very useful thing to have. Yeah, that obviously Scotland has such a link. Okay, so the question is, where are we going to find the actual? Um, a lot of crap here. Oh, actually, hang on, we're actually in, so there's that, there's that, there's that, there's that, there's that. Okay, somewhere in here we do have the actual freaking ID of the damn thing. And we should even be able to find that by just looking at the freaking frick frick. Type item ID. Okay, not difficult. Okay. Um, that should just, I don't think that's right. I think it's got, I gotta have an arrow there. I gotta have an arrow there, main. I gotta have my arrow. Let's see. No, that's not right. It's Jason. It's this thing here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and push this just because it's. I like pushing things. And I got some response on the. Um, on the HYG stuff. Oh, that's my own. Um. Um, okay, I probably should answer that real quick. Um, uh, let's see, now that we're doing it, we kind of have to do it. Um, maybe. What the hell? Uh, let, let's see if we can find it. Uh, issues. I just feel like I gotta answer this guy. 
Um, quote reply. Um, I think that should be enough. Um, is in a really ugly place and uninteresting because it uses uh, C spice routines. Um, We'll just point him directly to it. Okay, I guess if I'm going to answer this, i got to do it right, right? If you're going to do it, do it right. Right, do it with me. Ooh. Hang on, that's not cool. Oh, hang on, that's since the year 2000. Um, so did I actually screw that up? Um, crap. All right, just, let's just do a real quick answer here. Uh, I know you're not supposed to create functions in .h files. Um, I use the CSpice libraries library, and then I can just link to that real quick. So that way I am off the hook. Um, Uh, this was trying to do things quickly, usually a mistake. Okay. Yeah, this is the little trick there. All right, I'm all bored of that now. Okay, what are we doing here? Uh, we have ID, we have this, we have... Yeah, totally lost where it was. Let's try that again. Okay. So wait, are we actually ready to say things like... Um, so it's, it's P31, da -da 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 -da. My target, I guess, is what this would be. Or my triget. Tarjay. It's the uh, place where everyone shops. Um, okay, so this would be... Well, okay, we're going to say ID equals JSON ID. Um, it's going to be ID P31 target return. And then we're going to do the same thing for P279 in just a sec. Um, and I don't think... All right, let's see what that does. I don't think that's going to, we're going to be able to do any better than that. Okay, so Q64, whatever it is, well, let's find out what it is. And then it has, it's parts of lots of shit. Um, Q64 is Berlin. The city of Berlin. It is. I forget what P. <laughs> I need to know what P31 is. It is an administrative division in the state of Germany. P31, of course, is. Uh. That's all very interesting. That's not what I want. Uh. 
Um, no, that's not what I want at all. P31 is supposed to be... Have I got the wrong P31? Hang on. Please stand by while I figure out what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, names not text. Hmm. P31 is not... Oh, that's a different P31. That's a P31 that is actually... So I want P31. I want P31, the freaking property. That is actually called P31, not the Wikipedia disambiguation page. Motherfucker. Wow. Okay. Oh, oh, here it is. Wait. Instance of... I'm confused. Help. Oh, okay, that's P2... Now I want to know what P279 is. It's the other one I want, which I think is subclass of. Yeah. P279 is a subclass of... Okay, cool. So now... VR um we cannot be this close to done but let's see what happens my p279 and I guess if we wanted to really formalize this we would you know, use P's for everything here, but I think I'm actually okay with, um, those are the only two we really, really sort of need. So let's see what this does. Okay. So Q44 is a subtype of Q154. Let's see if that's true. Q44, beer. Beer's good shit. Oh, okay. Is this Q154? One of these days I'm going to have enough room. One of, just you wait, Henry Higgins. Q154. End of chemical. <laughs> yeah, you got to love these guys. All right. So this is the wrong version of... I know it's the wrong version. Um, but what this can tell us now is uh, all the subcategories of shit. It's actually... How kind of attempt to see what would how big this is going to be. I mean, it's it's pretty big, but um, all right. Let's. There's a good way to break things. All p thirty one two seventy nine dot text. This is going to run forever. And I probably shouldn't have run it on a mount drive, but I don't care. Yeah, this is going to go very quickly become huge. So I'm kind of curious to see what the hell Q822 is a subclass of, because we're getting into some fairly high numbers there. Um, Addison's disease is an instance of... Now, disease is probably going to have a pretty low number, but this, designated intractable or rare diseases. Yeah. Because that's, that's what we're about. Um, it's actually not bad. We're actually already into the 120,000s. So how is this going to help our... Uh, well, we could create a database out of all this, of course, but we're not going to. Um, so how, how are we going to use this to get um, what we want in terms of the orange kangaroos? And so let's, let's just take a quick look here. Um, so da -da -da. Oh, that's just a coincidence that this is Q729, which I think is animal. I think that is what that is. Kingdom of multicellular 
eukaryotic organisms, as they prefer to be known as, K-O, K-M-E-O, as the kingdom of multis. <laughs> I'm funny. All right, Q729. So now what we could do, I mean, it's not going to work yet because we're not ready, but... Um, something like this and actually it's going to be space Q729 and then end because we're looking for things where something is an instance of animal so let's see what okay oh I think we need to do because we're using egrep we can do this this and that And I'm pretty sure it's case sensitive, but what the yeah. so we don't have anything yet that is a um, that is an instance or a subclass of animal, uh, which is not surprising. It'll it'll take a little bit of time. Uh, this is going remarkably well if it's actually working. Pomodoro time, back in two and two. Okay, we are almost back. And we're back. So still nothing. And that qualifies as an animal. Um, I wonder what Q5 is. There seem to be quite a few of those in the database. Oh, human. Uh, which, by the way, itself should be a subclass of animal. But so far... No dice. I want to make sure, though, that I haven't screwed... Uh, ooh, there are some. Hang on. So why didn't we catch that? Egrep. Is this... Oh. Okay. So let's make the note of that. Um, from dump from Perl script, this will tell me anything. Oh, I'm not going to write that part down. So this tells, let's see what's going on here. That's uh, it's, it's good, it's good stuff. So this tells me that this is a subclass of animal, and this is itself an animal. Let's see what the subclass of it. It could be like mammal or something. I mean, it could be anything, actually. Um...
Okay. Coral. Marine invertebrates. Okay, they are they are a subclass of animals. And let's see what the first animal it is that we know about, which is maybe human, I think. Okay, so the first animal listed in Wikidata is fictitious. Not a good start. Or is legendary at the very least. Okay, so the other thing we could start to do now is because we know that this is a subclass, we could, we're not going, we, we are going to, is, but we, we don't have enough data to really do it, um, is to look for uh, subclasses or properties of that. So we, this is where we sort of recurse along and, and find stuff. And I get the feeling we could probably put this all into a uh, uh, SQL light database. I don't think there's that much data here. I, and I say that and I don't know how much data there's going to be in the end. Um, but then we could start doing stuff like, you know, uh, find subsets and subclasses, find items and subclasses of Q729, items and subclasses of the items that are, you know, Q729, so on, so forth, and so on, until we got a whole big bunch of them. Uh, let's see how we're doing. Okay. I don't actually know how many items there are in... Um, I mean, we know there's at least, you know, 28 million. Okay, so there's, we may have, this is like a 20th of the way along. Um, let's see if I have space here. I'm not running out of space any time quickly. Let me go ahead and kill this because it's not going to run very well on this machine. Uh, I, I am, however, going to run it on my main machine. Um... So give me a second here. And you know what, I'll actually run it in the La Paz directory here that we've created. Okay, mass dump of P31 and P27 in current working directory. Okay. Oh, so hang on. Um, Please stand by. All right, let me see where I have copies of this. Okay. So the largest copy I have of this, which is hopefully complete, um, we're going to pipe it to BC Wiki data from dump. Make sure it works first by doing piping it to less. Uh, looks good. Okay. Um, Wikidata P31 P279 dump dot text. In the background it goes. And now that we actually have it running somewhere else, we could uh, we can look at it from here, and it'll it won't be too slow because it's actually running somewhere else. Yeah, because I changed its name, of course. Alrighty, well, it should be running faster than that. Uh, so what the hell's going on here? Hmm. That's not cool. I wonder if you can do tail F across the uh, amount like that and have it still work. Let me check something. Oh, wow. The tail F is actually working on the other machine, but I think we found a limitation of SSHFS uh, is that you can't do it like this. You can't do, you can't look at that over a cross mount. Okay, so that program is running nicely and we're going to get all the nice little dumps going there. Um, now, we do not have to go as far as eight levels deep. Uh, if we just want to, in fact, we could, if we were really being obnoxious, uh, which I guess we're going to be. Uh, <laughs> where is my, oh, here it is. Um, 
we can only go down to sub three if we want. We can even still leave the other printed out. There's not going to print anything, but um, let's see. Oh, this is only subclass. This isn't instances, is it? Uh, let's see what this gives us. Going three levels deep. Actually, we're going four levels deep because we have this. Is this going to time out? I think it is. Yep, getting closer and closer to timing out. So when it does, we're going to go ahead and remove this condition from it. Um, and see if we can get down to three levels. And this one doesn't even actually try to pick up any animals, it just tries to pick up subclasses of animals from which we would eventually uh, pick up an animal. Although I guess we could, this is not going to finish well, we could do this. Subclass or any sub-subclass. And this, um, okay, we've probably messed with it now. Uh, server error. Oh, so when I, oh, I think that's because it had to stop when it got there. So this should work. Show me direct subclasses of... Okay, and this one I could probably actually get with uh, with language if I wanted it that way. Because that is not too deep. Um, so I should be able to get that. Um, and with this I get the magic that I can say... I think I want both sub1 and sub1 label. I want to see what it is, and I want to see what 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 they what it's called. Okay, so from here we should get a list of all, um, actually all subclasses of animals, I guess. Okay, and these are gorilla, gorilla, gorilla. Um, arctic animals. Exploding animal. Some of these worry me. Bass fish. Okay. So these are everything that is a subclass. Um, I guess now we can just call it sub. Or a sub subclass. And I'm wondering if we can get the parent of one of these things and show that it is not directly animal. Um, let's see. So the parent of this thing should not be animal. It should be something instance of uh, subclass of animal. Okay, hang on. Because this should include things that are not directly subclasses of animals, but are eventually subclasses of animals through a, through a connection. Uh, subclass of fish. Okay, there we go. Subclass of fish. Now, I wonder if you can get the parent of something. Um, that's actually a good question. Uh, parent. Um... of a subclass. Superclass. I bet you there's no such thing. Hmm. Um. Property. No. Subclass property. Subclass is... Yeah, I guess I wouldn't know how to find that. Um. Let me let me let me see if we can get a superclass going here. Um, so show me all the subclasses of things that are considered animals, including sub subclasses. That's good. But now can I get the property? 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, hang on. Um. Parent. You know what? I guess we could just look at a specific thing and see what it is. Um. Pelagic fish is a part of uh, endemic to opposite of, of subclass of hang on a fish and subclass of fish instance of or subclass of animal so subclass of is property p279 but okay so, I guess there is no... Right, because superclass of would be terrible. Because that would mean animal would have every one of its superclasses. So let's see from here uh, if we can get... So we know this is the case. Um, and now we want the superclass of sub. So we want to say... We don't want to say that. We want to say... Behave. We want to say that um, sub one. Nope. Sub is a direct subclass of sub one. This looks really strange. So sub is a sub any subclass of animal. And sub one is th are the parents of sub. That's just going to be fucking weird. Let's see if we can even get that to work. Okay, that did work. Fish. Bass of fish. Fi okay, so we can do this. We can do this. Deep sea fish, fish, genetically modified animal. Okay, so this is, we can build up a little bit of a... A little bit of a um, taxonomical hierarchy here. Isn't that special the way I said that? Um, and sub one. Oh, I need a period there. That's why sub one is a subclass. Now the thing the thing to worry about here is um, some of these we might not get answers to because they're only nested one level deep. But let's see, puppy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the problem here is, of course, we're running into, um, we're not seeing fish anymore because it is, only has one parent, and we're requiring two parents. But, we can fix that. Um, let's do this, and let's do, let's get this query in here. Control C, Control Y. Um... Okay. Wait, does that go inside the where statement? Why? That makes no sense. But anyway. Um, so that's the one we actually need. And then optionally, you can have this. And then optionally, you can have this. And we always have this service running around here. Sub 1... Label, wait, 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 what? Um, that maybe isn't what I wanted, but anyway. Uh, so sub two, sub two label. This might actually be the way to do this. Um, so I made it, might have screwed that up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Escape W. So this whole downloading the entire database shit probably stupid. Okay, let's see what this gives us. Okay, a shark is a fish, is an animal. An anchovy is a fish, is an animal. An electric fish is a fish. Is an I get the feeling now if you were to actually um, 
if you were to download this data, I get the feeling you don't have to include the queue number because they actually give you, um, yeah. So let's actually, we only really want the little labels. We actually don't even, this is just for our own prettiness sake here. Uh, but let's go ahead and download this result just to get an example of what, what we're looking at. So this should give us the same results. And we're going to say comma separated value. Oh, we can't do that verbose, so we'll say TSF file verbose. Okay. And now, I've done this before, that's why I'm so good at it. Query. Oh yeah, I hate the fact that it always names it query. Um... Productive animal. Oh, I gotta love this shit. A war dog is a working house cat. Is a domesticated mammal. Is a mammal. Um, Pomodoro time. Back in two and two. Okay, we are almost back. And we're back. Okay, so this is not exactly what we wanted because it only has the name and nothing else. I get the feeling that Jason, well, let's see. Do I even want to know what that is? No, I do not. So let's go ahead and look at the JSON version. Um. Because that they they seem to oh okay so the that's not a, that's not any better all right so now let's see what happens if instead of using labels we just ask for the uh, the Q values and let's just go crazy and do it like this sometimes I want Q values sometimes I want names I'm very strange. Okay, so now, by the way, it's going to be query one now because it's, that's what it is. Um, okay, so apparently we, if we do want to get everything, we do need to get both. Although the important part of it really is, is the Q value, because we can get to the name from there. But, if we're going to fuck with someone, we might as well fuck with them good, is the motto. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we might as well go sub three, sub three label. Um, sub two is a subclass of sub three. And let's see what that gets us. Um, and we're gonna keep doing this until we hit, until we basically fuck up their database. Uh, all right, let's see what this does. So this should give us, uh-oh. Captain, she can't stick anymore. 
we might have fucked this over. By the way, this, it turns out, really slows things down, converting to English, so we might get rid of that and then just look at the, uh, the Q, sort of the Q trail. But the problem here might just be that there's so many subcategory crossovers and stuff that uh, the number of results here is going to be too large. I think we're working towards a timeout here. But, you know, whatever. Yep. Now. The question is, if we don't... Let's just do, run it this way. The label don't have any meaning, but... Will this actually return? Because it doesn't have to convert things to English. Um, it's not looking too good here either, is it? Yep, not looking too good here. We're about to um, crash and burn here. And we will go ahead and wait out the timeout. Um, if you're, if there's anyone in chat, I don't think there is. I'm not even going to look. But if there were, this is the kind of stuff programmers do. Sit, stare at screens hoping that um, hoping that this query will either give us a fantastic result or time out relatively fast. Um, so that's probably going to time out. And I do have one other hope for this if when, when this times out. Or this might be a trick by them to just... They're not actually doing anything except moving this little blue bar across my screen and pretending that they're running a query because they're just sick to death of me coming in and making queries on their server. I would not be at all surprised if that's what's happening right now. But if they're stupid, oh, hang on, the little blue bar stopped moving. <coughs> and I've only got a couple of days till Corona takes me. Okay. Oh, now they're going backwards. Yeah, so 41 million. So now we're gonna do something a little bit different, actually. We, what we can do, this looks really stupid. Um, This says, find me everything that is a subclass of Q729, but then show me all the superclasses, which would obviously include Q729, but not be limited to Q729 is the weird thing. So if this works, oh my god, really? Really, really? I mean, it doesn't tell me what level this is at, but it tells me that there is a at some level above it. This can't be right. All right, Mr. Smarty Pants. <laughs> All right, we didn't break you. We didn't break you. We're going to break you. All right, we're going to break you by putting this sucker in, because if you can do that, you can give me some fucking names with it. Uh, and by the way, I probably should have saved that result before doing what I just did. But I'm a rebel, man. I'm going to feel really stupid if this doesn't work, though, because then I'll have to rerun the... Oh, hello. Um, this may not be what I expected. I mean, yes, everything is a subclass of itself. But that's not what I meant. All right, hang on. So sub is a, su a sub super subclass of this. Show me everything else that's a super. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and download this. Although I get the feeling something terrible has happened. And it's going to be query with two parentheses after this time. Special. OK. 
Okay. This is not looking too good. This is not doing what we expected it to do. Oh, hang on, hang on. There we are. Peking duck. Peking duck. Is that a peking duck? I don't know. Um, productive animal. Multicellular organism. Okay, this is actually pretty good shit. Um, although I thought there was more than 25... Oh, yeah, sorry. These are actually just... Um, Okay, right, right. These are just actually um, subclasses of it, not I, not um, instances of animals. These are subclasses of of animals. Um, although some of them actually appear to be what we would call animals. Okay, so now. So now. Uh, animal is an instance of um, hmm can I do this? Can I say instance of Q729 or any of its um any of its subclasses, uh, which I think P31 star does. Um, and then, um, okay, hang on now. So animal is a member of this and animal is a member of that shouldn't be subclass so that should be member of this is sort of the same thing except now we're saying um, the animal has to be a member of at some sub level of Q729 and then show me um, what other things it's a member of Um, I don't think that's going to work, but let's find out. And let's hold, whoa. Okay, 274 results is not correct. Um, so what is P31 star? Let's, uh, there's a way to get this sort of, um, explain query thing going on. Um, yeah, okay. Um, okay. So clearly not what we want. And I kind of wish I had, uh, I, think, I think you can do control Z on this though, fortunately. Um, nope, still not there. Right, and then this was it. And then let's just make sure, this is the one I think we actually managed to capture. Uh, right. So this says, I'm going to probably should put this into my um, Emacs file, huh? Okay. So this says, uh, find me all the subclasses of Q729, and then show me everything that they are themselves a subclass of. Uh, and now all I want to do is find an animal that itself is an instance of the subclass. So animal, I don't have to print it out if I don't want to, is a member of the subclass. Um, so one of the subclasses here should be animal itself. So let's see what this does. If this works, we're in business. Yep, 
I get the feeling this is not gonna work. If we got rid of this, it might work. If we got rid of this, it might work too. But the way it is, we're trying to find every animal in every subclass of animal and label it. Um, Yep, we're definitely running towards a timeout here. Um, this timeout is brought to you by anyone who will pay me money. Yep. Oh, hang on, it's stopping. It's going to give me the 41 million error again. It's thinking. It's going to go... There we go. Great timeout. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to get rid of, well, apparently we're going to get rid of the whole damn thing. Uh, let's see, we're going to get rid of this. So all we want to know is animal is a member of sub, and sub is a subclass of animal. And this should not work, but... Whoa! Um, Man of War is an instance of horse, uh, which, which he is, and horse is an instance of animal. Okay. Now, I know I shouldn't do this. I think, though, this this was going a little bit too far here. This said, find me all the super classes of sub. But I think we can do a little, we can just go one level up. Just show me that sub... Uh, just show me the, the one parent class of the subclass. That's what I said. Now hang on, we're going to download this one. We're not that stupid. Okay. We got it. It's not going to be query 3 or something. Really bad naming scheme here. I wonder if you can fix that in Firefox. Um, so we're getting a lot of problems here in the terms of, holy crap, there are a lot of horses out there. Okay. So this, if this works, we will have something actually useful. Although what we just got was pretty useful, too. Need one level above you so I can connect the dots. Or more technically, create the graph. <gasps> yes! Booyah! Okay. Um. All right, a dogfish. Okay, so a dogfish is a type of Siberian tiger is a type of animal, and it is a multicellular organism. Well, really? Let's take a look at the actual Siberian tiger here. We will not see a picture of the Siberian tiger. Well, I guess he is a. He's an instance of which I don't care about. He's an animal. Ooh, shiny. We did get a picture of him. And he is a... Uh, what is... He's a subclass of... He's a subclass of animal. Uh, oh, what is he a subclass of? He's a subclass of... Wait. He's a direct instance of animal. Okay. Uh, that is instance, right? Not, um, yeah, that's animal WTD sub. Okay, so, yeah, he's, okay, so Siberian tiger is an incident of an animal, 
and oh shit ah, okay hang on an animal so that's the one case we kind of didn't want we don't necessarily we want to go to the super class unless this is a direct subclass if we don't want because we don't want to go to animals parents we want to go to the parent of whatever the hell this thing was under so that's kind of a bad thing but for most of these cases it looks pretty good um, hippopotamus an animal hippopotamus ursus americanus which is domesticated animal Both. these are like like freaking names kiburi jacqueline so i kind of find it hard to believe there's only um 12,790 names okay pomodoro time back in two and two Okay, we are almost back, and we are back. Okay, I get the feeling there's something wrong here. And I think I know what it is. Well, for one thing, we're looking at the wrong one. But still, I get the feeling there's more than 25,000 animals in the world. And I think the issue here is um, a cow is considered a... Okay, that's fine. A uh, cow... How about ant? Horse... Da, 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 da. Equidae? All right, so let's see what, the, what we're actually looking at here. Um... So, animal label, yeah, I get the feeling that we probably want all subclasses of animals as well as their names, uh, because I get the feeling there are some animals which we can actually find out using this, if it works correctly, zero, one, two, three. I think this is going to cause a problem, and I'm wrong. Uh, because we're not using... Yeah, we need to say um, our separator character is the tab. Item with given name. Yeah, and now if we do a... Let's see what this is. Okay, how many of these are there? There's more than 68 animals in the world. Bull, carcass, car castrated, keetra, cow. How about ant? Insect. Okay. So I think the problem is this gives us all the named animals in the world. Um, kind of. I mean, it's obviously, it's Wikipedia, so you can never actually 
get everything out of it, but this looks like it's just going to be things that are considered instances of things that are animals. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, animals P thirty one P just two seventy eight touches. So these are all the animals that are either that should have been two seventy nine by the way. Um, I'll change it to avoid confusion. Okay, so these are all the animals that are instances of subclasses of animals, but not the subclasses themselves. So now what we actually want is all the subclasses of animals. So I want sub to be a subclass of animal, and I want sub show me at least one other, show me all the parents of the subclass, of, of the uh, thing that's, yeah, show me all the other superclasses of the thing that I am, that I am subclassing. Uh, no, no, show me the immediate, the immediate parent of the thing I'm subclassing. In theory, I can use this to build up a graph, in theory. Assuming I can even run it. So running, we've got results, we don't have a lot of results, this is not looking good. Uh, I get the feeling there's more. I get the feeling we're, we're missing something really big, which we'll find out. Um, we're going to look for that. Okay, so hang on. Let's make sure I got the right field. Okay, in this case, I think I want... Let's see. Uh, sub-label. So sub-label is the sub... Is the, uh, yeah. That's the thing that at some deep level is a subclass of, um, of a subclass of, of a subclass of. So that would be number, field number one, or field two, but F1. Okay. And now we're saying there are about a thousand animals. Is ant even an animal? insect, aquatic insect, insect larvae, predatory insect, but not insect itself? That does not sound good. Okay. All right, well, I guess we got to find out what the hell an insect is. Thought we knew. Insect. Class of arthropods. Um, insecto, but okay. It's an instance of a taxon, not considered an instance of an animal, but is it a subclass? Eh, we have problems. I don't think it's going to be a subclass of anything either. I mean, it really is a subclass of, of you know, let's see. Taxon, common name. I might need to figure out what the hell a taxon is is a source of edible studied by pronounce let's see subclass of wow all right so taxon may be a key word here that we need we need to figure this out um So the question is, why are insects not considered animals? Um, okay, so parent taxon. Taxon, common name in English. Okay, well, I guess for animals, we've got to go with this. This is probably going to be closer to the truth. Uh, edible insect, which is something else. So this kind of sucks, the fact that um, insects are neither subclasses nor instances of animals. So one thing we could do is we could say that a taxon, no, we can't say a taxon is an instance of, of animals, but it's an instance of life. Uh, subclass of class, group of living things. Yeah, so we're actually going to go a little bit deeper then. So, okay. 
All right, so I think the thing we're looking for here is instances of taxons. I just want to copy that link, actually. Okay. So let's start off real slow here. <coughs> uh, label. Where taxon I actually forgot how we did this. Um, oh yeah, WDT. We need that. We need that. We need that. Taxon. Parent taxon. Come on, really? Okay. God damn. So it's one of these suckers. Um... Oh, I'm sorry. Instance of. Yeah, that's what we want. Sorry. It's an instance of this. Um, so let's see what this does. Okay. So the taxon has to be an incidence of the things that are called taxons. And this should give us a pretty chunky... I think I need to say WD there, don't I? Yep, I do. All right. So this should give us a lot of results. Or a timeout. Because there are probably a lot of freaking animals in Wikidata. Yep. Looking for all the instances of a thing that's considered a tax. That's going to be... That's not going to look too good. Yep. That looks like we're heading for a timeout. So the magic word here is taxon, not animal. Insects are not animals. That is just a terrible, terrible... That just kind of shows you how badly Wikipedia is organized. Yep, Cory time out leached. Let's go ahead and see if we can do it without naming them, but I don't think we will, actually. This is going to be pretty bad, too. Come on, give me back my cursor. There we go. Uh, even without names, I get the feeling this is going to time out. But let's find out. Show me everything in Wikipedia that is a taxon. It's an instance of a taxon. And... Not looking good. Oh, hang on, hang on. That's what I call the result. 2.7 uh, million answers. Uh, but it won't convert them to English for me, so I'm kind of unhappy about that. Um, you know what? Vive la France. Try, Try it again. I, I demand you give me a... Um, I demand you give me the English equivalents as well. I know you can do it. God damn it. All right. Piece of shit. And it just steals my cursor for a while to tell me how suck tell me how sucky I am. Okay. So this is good shit. I probably should have saved that and I will this time. If if it decides to do it for me again. Okay. Uh TSV file verbose. Okay, and now what I would like to do is, um, I guess we, oh, actually, we don't, it's not going to give us a label, so let's see if we can get the taxon's parent as well. That'll give us some way of building up our hierarchy of species. Taxon. Parent. Okay, so that's P171, and that is going to be the parrot. So 
So show me a list of all the things that are considered taxons and their immediate parent. Now the only thing I don't really like, well, okay, there's a lot of things I don't like about this. Um, I mean, what I'd like to do is get the common name of these things, but right now we're just getting the entities themselves. Uh, which we can we can look for them in in Wikipedia uh, in Wikidata. I want a name. Let's see. So is there a way to say taxon? Name. Official name. No, I get the feeling that's not going to work. All right. All the single parents. Oh, I, that was too deep. Okay, show me all the um, animals you know about and give me their parents, but only as Q values because you are being a bastard in terms of giving me names. Oh, come on, this isn't going to break you. This isn't going to break you. This is going to break you. Oh, well. And then I'm going to try doing the same thing, but I'm going to run it with a limit of, of something just, just to see what it looks like. I guess technically I could do it with a limit, and then I could do it with an offset and a limit, and we could maybe get everything that way. Although clearly... Not this way. Really, all I asked for is the taxon parent. That's a very simple thing you can get for me. Hang on, you're gonna give me an answer or you're gonna just time me out? Dun 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 query time out beach. Okay. Alright, you bastardo. Now what if I put in a limit? One, two, three, one, two, three, of one one million. Now you can do it, right? Piece of crap. Uh it's not looking good. Now, of course, one of the problems is the query itself might be complex enough um, that the limit one million doesn't help because even to find the first million, it has to do... Hello. Okay. Shiny. Okay. So this is... I'm going to go ahead and download this before I forget. Uh, of course, I really should make a note that this is limited to a million, but I'm not going to. And now, can we add in our good friend, um, service labeled, ba ba ba? Can we actually get names on these suckers? And let's see. And I actually would be happy just to get the taxon labels. Uh, I don't necessarily need the parent labels. Oh, I forgot about... <laughs> I don't have parent in there. That's kind of silly. And if this times out, we're just going to go for the... I'm um, going to just go for this one. I want to see the taxon names. Unfortunately, I get the feeling that the taxon names are going to be really complicated. And what I really want out of them is the common name of the taxon. Um... So this is a, well, okay, fish is, a, okay, well, fish is a pretty good name, actually. Insect is an, okay, that's actually fine, too. Uh, okay. La, 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 Let's see, I think this is going to time out. Yep. All right, so now all I want is the taxon and the taxon label. But where taxon is, uh, yeah, it's a taxon. So show me a million instances of taxons right now. 
This is not too difficult for you. You can do it. I have faith in you. I don't really have faith in it. I get the feeling we're heading towards a timeout. Mm. <sighs> yep, this is going to time out. And the problem is, I'm, I'm going to sh shift it down to 500,000, uh, but at some point it's going to become... Can you have multiple queries? No, 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 no. Um, at some point it's going to be too tedious to get all of them from, from here. With 500,000 at a time I could handle, but this, nope, nope, looks like we're going bad. Alright, Pomodoro time, back in two and two. Okay, we are almost back, and we're back. All right, let's see if we can bump this down to 500,000. See if they can handle that, the little weenies. Now, at one point, I think I went as far as actually creating a little database of, uh, of objects and their English names. So the, this wouldn't necessarily be necessary. Although it turns out, unfortunately, because there are bad foreign people out there, <coughs> excuse me, uh, not everything has an English name. But, you know, we do what we can. Alrighty, let's see if I actually have that here somewhere. <coughs> oh my god, I do. Um, yep. Now, this is from an older dump, so we're not going to get everything here, but... Yep. Now, just to be... just for fun, just to ruin their database... Let's try 250,000, but that actually becomes impractical at some point uh, to try to suck it down 250,000 at a time.
Yep, this isn't going to work. We'll come back to it in a sec, but... Okay, so I think what we're going to do now... I did find the um, thing that has all the labels. By the way, Q102 sounds like a radio station. Um, I don't know who the hell did this, but yeah. Suno Ultramicroscopic Volcano Conesis. Uh, and in Spanish, it's the exact same thing. Um, but that that's on 102, so you can see where their priorities lie here. Oh, whoa, whoa, hello. Hello. Cafeteria? I'm pretty sure that's where you eat things. Anyway. Okay, and now we can use the offset command. If we can find it, we can use the offset command to get more of these suckers. Uh, yeah, limit blah blah blah. Okay. So now we could do... I'm going to offset it one less so we can... Um, so we can uh, have one overlap. And because I think there's like two million of these, this is going to take a few a few tries to get all of them. Um, and we'll know when we're done because the last one will have fewer than 250,000 results. But to be honest, I don't know if this actually requires computing the first 500,000 results just to give us the ones that are between the what we're asking for. If it does, obviously, that's not going to help us with the timeout. If it doesn't, though, if there's a more efficient way of doing it, um, then we will be able to get the next 250,000. At which point, we're going to just fuck them over by asking for the next 250,000. Queries running, and... Mm, not looking too good. That's not looking too good. Yep, query timeout leech. Okay, so no, we're not going to be able to do that. Um, let me see if I can copy this labels file over here. Um, I'm going to do one other thing here. Let me actually bring the latest file. Um, actually, I don't know if I can do that because it is a symbolic link, not really a file. Did that work? Oh, wow. Okay. Good deal. Um, oh shit, did I just actually move it on the other machine, though? I might have done that. Hang on. Although, the way, the way, um, Unix works, okay, good. The way Unix works is it should, it should remain there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and link in the other thing that I was looking at, too. And this data is from, um, September of 2017, so it's not super good. Um, okay. Okay. Let's take a look at it here. So the labels text file basically just gives you the... Um, it converts the Q value to a label. So how does that help us? Well... I think it's query five that we were looking at. Now I need to now see this is where I get. Uh, definitely not query five. Query six. Um, maybe. Query seven, where I think I got rid of the attempt to even. Oh yeah, there we are. Okay, so from here, oh this is actually limited to a million. Uh, so from here. So, okay, so I get the feeling that maybe six was the one that wasn't limited. Yeah. So these are all the taxons without the labels, because we didn't have the labels for them. Um, so in theory... Um, now, i got to be careful here, because this is going to hit some things we don't want to hit. But if we do this... It 
it'll just hang forever, which is good. No, it'll it'll give us an answer here in just a sec. This will be one name of one animal. Polichetta. Really not a name you hear that often. But um now of course what we could do Yeah, for two million of these suckers, oh what the hell. Um We know they're all going to look like this. And so let's see if we can do this. This is, um, query whatever the hell it was. Let's find out what it was. It was query six. And this should just print out the Q values. No, it shouldn't. Why not? Oh, I think there might be some crap at the end of this stuff. So it's actually this, followed by any number of spaces, followed by this. I don't know why I just did control that. Any number of spaces. Okay, fantastic. And now... If we can print them with a space after them, we can use f grep minus f. <coughs> Except we'll have to get rid of the first line. Okay. Let's just call these animal Q numbers. And I will need to emax it to remove the. Um, yep, I really open one. Unfortunately, I get the feeling that f grep minus f is not going to do a great job with these. Um, partly because the label file isn't big enough, but also because um, fgrep minus f, I think, reads the whole file into memory. Which isn't terrible, it's only 29. Hello! And there you have it. A fairly useless list of animals. Now, the, the sort of thing you might be looking at here is noticing that the, um, is that some of these are starting with a capital letter, and the ones that start with a capital letter tend to be the ones we don't really think of as animals. We think of them as, like, taxonomic structures. So one way we can work around that is to do sort by the, okay, and that should put all the ones of one, um, and that should put all the, the capital letters together and all the non-capital letters together, if I've done it correctly. And, and, sort, and it'll also sort the names of the rest of them. So we'll see if we have anything really useful coming out of this. Probably not. <coughs> um, and then the idea would be the ones that start with lowercase names are ones that are considered, but the yellow cardinal, again, this would really start with a, should be a Y, uh, a lowercase Y. So really trying to find a list of all animals, very, very ugly. Um, now we do have the data from, um, the taxonomic data from uh, the um, genetics place. Hang on. I can't remember what it's called. Um, from... Okay, hang on. Not the IUCN red list, but the, um, the genetic database that uh, Natalie told me about that I can't remember anymore. Okay, hang on... Wow. Not biodiversity. NR. No, not NRIS. Not BDA. Maybe it's inside of the animals. <laughs> Sounds funny. No. Alright, we'll find it in a sec. Let's see what this has done, if it is finished. It has. So, you'll notice the capital stupid animals are first. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of these suckers. 
Oh, hang on. Do we have a... Oh, okay. 75%. Sorry, 75%. Uh, 90%? 98%. Oh, shit. Either I didn't sort them correctly, or virtually all animals have capital letters in their name. Why? Okay. Uh, or I better have done a case insensitive sort, which I'm beginning to get the feeling I did. And 22. Okay, we're getting very close to the end here. And I get the feeling we're going to run right off of th this after the ZYs. Oh my god, no, there's. Albatross. Angry Worm Eel. Angular Rough Shark. Apple Maggot. Aye Aye. Bacteria is really not an animal. Baobab, Barber Perch, Black and Rufus Elephant Shrew. Yeah, so you're putting that there as an answer. Blue Paradise Flycatcher. Okay, so apparently most of these things have are capitalized. So um, yeah, we're gonna have to. This is not a this is not a great success here. Um. Let me see where I have put genetic data, though. I think I... because I downloaded a ton of it. Um, but where did I put it? Was it MRIS? I don't think it was. Oh, here it is. It's... Uh, Yeah, yeah, here it is. Um, I think I can actually link this uh, because it is not. Let's see if I have linked it. I have not. Let me go ahead and link this real quick. And it'll be... It, this is the information from the NI... Um, from um, NIH. So let's see if we can. I don't think I ever finished downloading all this, but this is the um, this is the the genetic codes of like everything in the universe. Maybe and the problem I'm going to have with this, I don't know if they ever give if there's any place where they give um, the actual common names of everything. Uh, and I was going to help Natalie, I was going to ask Natalie to help me explain this, but she has cleverly not showed up, which is good for her. Oh, I, this might be it. These are a bunch of genetic sequences, but I don't think they're going to give us what we want. And I meant Z less, not GZ less. Um, organism... So in theory, we could do ZGREP, organism, star GZ, and get... That's a lot of fucking organisms there. But none of these seem really interesting. I mean, these are all, these are all bacteria. So I want a puppy dog. I mean, I also want to have a puppy dog, but... I would also like to... What, where are we? We're in GenBank. Um, let's do this. ZGREP minus H so we don't see the names. And then sort minus U. And because we can't put anything in this directory because it's a symlink, um, organisms.txt. And actually I... Well, I, I was going to say I want to T it, but that doesn't really make sense because I'm sorting it ahead. Um, but I get the feeling this is not going to give us the full list of all thingamabobbies that exist on Earth. Uh, I'd be very surprised if it did. 
And while that's happening, because I'm really bored, um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to actually do a... Um, oh, I can't do that. I can do a unique, though. <laughs> so it only prints each animal one time. Um, okay, boring, boring, boring. Boring, 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 boring. Where is Canada? Cytophagia. Cytophagia is uh, algae, actually. They're not plants. SpongeBob SquarePants. Okay, well, that is a plant. Pant. Pomodoro time, back in two and two. And we are almost back. And we are back. So, oh, bacterium. That was... It's like we're working our way up to something that has more than two cells. Okay. Motherfucker. Sorry, I just saw someone who fucked his mother. A motherfucker. Okay, it looks like I've been going for almost three hours now. Uh, which I thought I didn't realize I was going that long. This might be a record for me, but I don't care. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take off now. Thank you for watching, and good night.